Hey everyone, Kenny from Stuff You Can Use here, and today we're gonna talk about how to create an event in Grow Numbers. Now this might be the first thing you wanna do once you set up your account, because once you have an event set up, you'll be able to allow students to check in and start collecting data at your weekly program or events. So let's get to it. All right, first thing we're gonna wanna do is click the event link in the menu on the side. Once we get to this event page, you're gonna see the option to create one of two different kinds of events. You could either add a new recurring event, which is something like your weekly program. Maybe you have a high school ministry environment on Wednesday nights or a middle school ministry that meets on Sunday mornings. That's what your recurring event uh, would be. So maybe it meets every week, maybe it meets once a month, it really doesn't matter. As long as it's something that happens over and over again, you're going to want to put it in the recurring event section. And then you also have the option to create one-time events. That might be like a retreat or a game night or something that just happens once. You still want to collect data and track attendance and see who was there and what time they showed up, um, but you may not need it for a recurring situation. So for one-time events, that's where you would put those. So let's go ahead and add a recurring event. And let's call this Pulse. This will be our Wednesday night high school gathering. And once you put the name in and hit create events, you come to this page where it tells you, all right, the next step is to create a registration form for your events. And basically the registration form is what new students will see the first time that they come to sign in or register for your weekly environment or monthly environment or whatever this is. For us, we're going to stick with Wednesday nights for Pulse. So Wednesday night, a student shows up. Maybe you want to get them in the door really quickly and you don't really care about collecting so much data the first time. Well, then maybe you only want to collect their name or maybe something like their grade. So what you do is you drag over the information you want to collect. And what's cool about Grow Numbers is you can spread out the registration process over multiple check-ins. So maybe you just want to collect name and grade on the first night, and then the week after that you want to collect their Instagram accounts and their email. Oh, we'll just put that to number two. So basically you just drag and drop where you want it, and so maybe that's all we need. Uh, so we get them in the door quick the first night. We follow up the second check-in with some more information, and then let's just go ahead and finish it off with their parent information and their address on the third night. So got them dragged, got them dropped. Then what we're going to want to do is save. So once you save your form, you get this little pop-up that says, hey, make sure you preview your form. All right, we will preview the form. But before we do that, let's add a logo. Make sure that it looks good. So let's go ahead and choose the Pulse logo. Hit submit. Yep, that's what it looks like. And now let's preview this form. So this is what your registration form is going to look like. Pretty slick, nice and clean, your logo front and center. And we're just collecting name and grade on that first night. So your new students, first time they ever come to your event, would put their name, their grade, hit register, and they'd be all set. So that's all you have to do to create an event and grow numbers. Now you're up and running. So anytime you actually have this event, uh, students can now check into it. And so let's just, before we end this tutorial, let's click on events and show you some important links. So here it is, Pulse. And let's say you do want to do check-in. All you have to do is click this check-in link. And this is what your check-in page looks like. So again, nice and clean, right? Just a white background, your logo front and center. When a student comes, they're going to put their name in there and their face will pop up or their name will pop up. They can click it and they'll be checked in. So really, we wanted to create a streamlined, very fast, very efficient check-in process. You can open this up on a laptop, a tablet, a phone, really any device that's connected to the internet and be able to check students into your event through that device. Um, and so, yeah, I wanted to make it super simple. So that's what it looks like. And then, of course, if they're not in your system, not in your database, you can just click I need to register. And there you go. The registration form pops up and students can get registered for your ministry. So that's pretty much all you need to know. Uh, maybe the last link is the stats page. Right now there are no stats because no one has checked into your event yet, so we won't worry about that. But once you do have students actually coming to your event, 
the stats page will look something like this. Uh, right now there's this red bar that says this is demo data because you don't have any of your own data. But once you do have your own data, you'll be able to see how many students you have that are active at your event, uh, what your attendance percentage looks like, how many new students you have each week, and a whole bunch of other really cool information down here, including number of students, new students, volunteers. You can track basically anything. And if you have any ideas of, hey, this would be fun to add to an event or this would be fun data to track and I can't figure out how to do it, let us know and maybe it's something that we can add as a feature to grow numbers. Uh, we'll be adding things, making it better all the time based on your feedback. We really want to create the most useful and helpful database and check-in and attendance tracker system that exists for youth ministry. So give us all your feedback and we will continue to build it out per your specifications. All right. Hope you guys learned something and got a good feel for how to create an event for your ministry. If you have any questions, make sure to hit us up and uh, we'll talk to you later. All right. See ya.